Hey guys, welcome to our installation tutorial for 3D Gaussian splatting. And today we will show you how to install it locally on your Windows machine with NVIDIA GPU. And the page you're seeing right now is the official 3D Gaussian splatting repository, but we will be using uh, our fork instead. And this repository is basically made for installing 3D Gaussian on Windows machine. So the total file size will be around 7 GB and the VRAM requirement is 24 GB. Uh, you need a NVIDIA GPU too for running 3D Gaussian. I'll only be linking this down in description to prevent confusion. And the first step is to install Pinocchio. You can find Pinocchio here and press download and go to Windows and click download here. Uh, I already downloaded it, so I'm just gonna skip this step. Pinocchio is basically a tool that lets you run JSON scripts to control and automate your terminal. And we at ByCloud AI have written these JSON scripts beforehand to make the installation process much easier for you. So you just need to do a few clicks instead of getting confused with installing dependencies and wait and get lost in the system file paths. So yeah, after that is downloaded, open up your Pinocchio, copy this link on top for our repository. You can see by cloud AI here and go to discover first and then paste it here, press download and save. And now it's just basically clone. And after that is finished cloning, you can see here you just press install. This is going to install all the dependencies and create a environment for you to run 3D Gaussian splatting. So you just press install. It's going to take a while since there are quite a lot of setups that needs to be done. So we just got to wait. Okay, now that downloading the dependencies are done, we can now continue to our next step, which is step two here. So now you just go back and you press start. Uh, this is not start anything. This just opens up a command prompt with the correct environment. You can see Gaussian splatting and a folder. In this folder, you can see the input data file uh, is here. So you just want to open it. And here we will want to put your images or videos in here. If you have a video, you have to extract it into frames. So you can extract it with FFmpeg. I can show you uh, real quick how to do it. There's a video here. Uh, I'm just going to use this video. I'm going to drag and drag and drop into the input data and uh, just copy this command, paste it here. You have to edit it a bit. The video is inside input data. So we're just going to input data slash change the name, change the file name to ali.mp4. You don't have to change dash r. File name you can change to ali. You got to specify uh, the file path here. So you just press enter and it'll extract all the frames for you here. Um, so you can see all the frames. However, I'm not going to use the set. It's just for demoing how to extract the frames. Instead, I'm going to use a very popular example. These are images of the very famous fern tree used in every nerve research. And we gotta organize this file structure. So we're just gonna go back to step two on the GitHub repo and you can see you gotta manage it into this file structure. So we're inside input data right now in the file explorer. So we're just gonna create a folder for fern and a folder for input. So it's gonna look like this fern. And then we bring these images inside Then we just create another folder called input. And then we just bring these images inside. So yeah, basically like that. So you need input data inside the fern folder inside input. And these are the images here. And next, after that is done, you can run the following command into the command prompt here. Uh, it just basically specifies uh, the input data is the fern image collection. So if you have another collection that is not firm, you can use this and change to input data slash your name of the folder. And I'm just going to copy this since mine is exactly the same as the example. Press enter. And now it's going to extract all the SFM from these images. Um, now we have a collection of images inside Fern. So you can see it was just the input folder, right? And then it generated these other files. So we can't go to the step three, train and optimize the images. So it's basically the same thing. We just copy the command and then change the input data to whatever folder you want. And mine is Fern. Uh, I'm just going to paste it and press enter. 
And this is the part that's going to take the longest since it's going to optimize or train. All right, now the training is done. You can see that for 7K iterations, it took around one minute. And for 30K iterations, it took around six minutes. So it's pretty fast. Since the resolution is only 504 by 378, the whole optimization process took a lot faster. So it will usually take around one hour for 1080 resolution. The more data you have, uh, the longer usually it'll take too. For step four, where we can view the result, we got to go to our output folder. So you just go back to um, Gaussian's flatting windows docket and you can see output here and just click into this one. This one is the result folder for the trained model and it always have this randomly generated folder name. You can rename to the batch of your test or basically the scene name. So mine is Fern. I just got to rename to Fern. And we just gonna copy this command and then you just gonna change the output folder here if you you have a different folder name uh so i'm just gonna copy this one press enter and it will basically start up uh their gui for viewing this 3d gaussian if you want to view in different view you can press one and we'll synthesize different angles these angles are depending on your input camera angles and you can basically use this GUI to record keyframe or you can play around with these. Another thing is you can see in different render mode. So you can see the 3D Gaussian splat. These are the ellipsoids. These are the initial points and these are the splats. And yeah, that's about it for this installation tutorial. If you like this tutorial, feel free to support the ByCloud AI project by going to our Patreon down in the description. We aim to provide the latest free and high quality tutorial on open source AI research and made easier for people to install. So it would be amazing to have your financial support. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one.